Thank you, Mr. Senior President, distinguished colleagues. Let me sympathize with the families and those who are affected by this act of inhumanity to men experiencing just recently. Mr. President of the Senate, the issue of insecurity in Nigeria has remained a recurring event that seemed to have no solution to it. Despite all government efforts, despite all the military efforts, on daily basis we hear one insecurity or the other and lives being lost. The worst feeling of any citizen of a given country is to have a feeling of insecurity. Gradually, it's coming to our doorsteps, no matter how highly placed you are. Everyone seems to be living in fear in this, our great country. It is either attack on prison in Imo State, or attack on prison correctional center in Jos, or police station, or killing people. So, we have given different definitions to it. We argued in this place, saying that we need to restructure the security architecture. That has been done. We have argued that we need to vote more money to the security department. That also has been done. We have done literally everything that we need to do. And it has resulted to the blame position now. I listened to a video making news by the National Security Advisor where he categorically mentioned that our internal security challenge looks like an internal sabotage for those who make resources and money who have commercialized our security challenges, who make money out of insecurity, especially as it leads to kidnapping. That statement of his seems to have carried a lot of weight. Because I still wonder why are some of these young men, probably not up to 100,000 in number, constantly defeating over 200 million people? And what would be the interest of somebody attacking a prison, correctional center in Jos? Could you say that's as a result of poverty? Or is it as a result of hunger? What is interest? I think if, if we do not trace back to what is really the causes of this, we might be chasing shadows. A time has come that this nation should retrieve and re-strategize to find out what is truly causing the insecurity in Nigeria and who is responsible and how does it come about. This will help us in no small way. I had my colleague here did mention that uh, we have about 1 million security agencies to handle 200 million people. But I do know that 15, 20 years ago, we had less than 400,000 and we're about 150 million, and yet there was security in this country. Before we kill ourselves, before we destroy ourselves, I think we should look beyond uh, this supply of uh, arms and strategies and take our time to invest more on intelligence. Lack of intelligence mostly is our major problem. I don't know who are the military intelligence, police intelligence, and all the security intelligence. We need to dwell on the part of intelligence because if we have enough intelligence gathering on what is happening in this country, it might help us. And accusations, abuses, either of government or security agencies or anybody will not help at this point. My suggestion, Mr. Senior President, and I've made two suggestions. One, can we create a special department here 
to address issue, issues of intelligence gathering, to, to, to find out the resource. And secondly, it might, look, it might look crazy, but I think what we are going through now is good enough to call up for a day or a week set aside by all Nigerians, parents, youths, everybody, to come out in mass wherever we find ourselves, in villages, in towns, senators going back home, federal house members going back home, ministers going back home. Let's go and address this issue of security and call a collective effort with traditional rulers, students, opinion mothers, market people. We shall find solution to it. It looks like this battle has been left for government alone to fight, and government is not doing much again to correct the situation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.